It starts with one thing. I don't know why. Hey guys, I'm Matt from Apple Valley Airsoft, and I'm coming to you today from bright and sunny Pennsylvania. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the JG Mark 36K, which infamous G36. Um, I've had this gun for about a year. My brother actually got it for me uh, for my birthday from, I believe, Airsoft GI, $130. Uh, overall, before I get started, let me just get this out of the way. It is a phenomenal mid-range gun. I have played with people, you know, with guns raining, you know, the, the G4 Airsoft GI Custom Series. Um, you know, it's gone up against all Full Metal Echo ones, and it has never had a problem holding up. I love it. Uh, start out with the facts. Uh, they say its FPS is between 330 and 360 FPS. When I actually clocked it, I, it clocked in at 380 with .20s. Now, I don't know, some people, if you're planning on shooting heavier Grand BB, just a warning. I, this gun clock, uh, it jams with me when I shoot uh, .25s. I've tried .25s and they just don't work out. But uh, .23s, you might, or if you know, if you get it and it'll shoot .25s for you, hell, maybe it will. Uh, you know, you might lose a little of FPS. But, um, accurate range up to 120 feet, I'd say that's that's definitely accurate. That's what it says on most websites and on the box. And uh, that's, that's absolutely accurate because I've had no problem hitting people from far away on this. Like I said, for 130 bucks, it's really a good mid-price range weapon. Like I said, that can hold up to a lot of the more expensive rifles. Um, I'll start out by going over the cons first, and then we'll move to the pros after that. Like I, uh, like I said, I mean, it is $130, so it's not gonna, you're not going to get something full metal. It is ABS plastic or APS plastic. It's strong plastic. I mean, the thing's a brick. I've dropped it before, and it's fine. However, as you can see right here, the rear sling mount snapped. Now, I've had this on a one-point sling for the last year, so that was kind of inevitable. Not really concerned about that. There's still another sling mount right here, right behind the folding stock that you can see. Right here. So, uh, I have my stock on that, or my, my sling on that right now, and that works perfect for me. Um, also, when I got it out of the box, it, the BBs didn't curve, but they actually came out of the barrel crooked. So, uh, you know, it comes with a long flash hider. I sawed it off about halfway, and... Uh, no problem, dead accurate. They shoot straight, so no problems with that. And like I said, it, it, uh, it jams with point twenty fives for me. But other than that, those are the only cons I can really think of. Uh, it has a long battery life. Uh, you know, the, the hop up on it is great. I actually, I really don't even need to use hop up on it at all. They, I have no problems with the BB sinking, or they're pretty much straight. Okay, uh, as you can see by now, you've probably figured out this has a tan barrel cover and a tan mag. You can look all you want, and you're not going to find them online because I painted it myself, spray paint. Uh, people have asked me before what color I used. It's called nutmeg. I don't know. It was in my basement. You could probably find it at Home Depot. Anything from desert, tan, coyote, brown, khaki, olive drab, anything will work. Uh, foliage green. Hell, keep it black, to be honest with you. It, it's fine black. Uh, I painted it because it helps blend in with the surroundings a little bit more. Plus, in an indoor setting, it blends in a little bit more than green, uh, in my experience. Uh, I've ha I had an ACOG on this, my brother's ACOG, for a while, and actually I took it off because the iron sights it comes with are, are great. I, I can't even complain. Uh, down the sight, it's, it, it'll shoot right where you want it to go. I've never had a problem with that. Uh, right here you can see I do have a mount for a mini holographic sight, which I do put on it every once in a while, but, um, you know, uh, I, as you can see, it's off right now because I like the iron sight so much. Uh, one thing I love about this gun that I've noticed with some other guns is a problem is that the, uh, trigger is so responsive. Some, uh, some older, mostly with the older guns, but you'll find, uh, a, a minimal delay though, but it is still delay with the trigger pull. Now this has an updated gearbox. Uh, I think they started updating them as 2007 with the JG Mark 36K series, but very responsive. And also uh, the rate of fire isn't amazing, but you know, for the stock the stock battery that I haven't put a new battery in it. The stock battery that it comes with, um, not a bad rate of fire. I've seen a hell of a lot worse. Uh, 
as for as batteries go, the battery that they sent me, which I presume is just the battery that they send with all of the JG G36 or Mark 36 series guns, uh, the battery's great. Uh, long battery life. I charge it maybe once a week. And I have a smart charger which charges it in about three hours, and it'll shut off when it's done. Uh, but the battery life is fine. Don't use the battery that or the battery charger that comes with the gun. Just throw it out. They're they're shit. Uh, it'll overkill your battery, and you might as well, th to be honest, with you, throw out throw out the instruction manual too. Half of it's in Chinese, and you know the most most you know airsoft players in America don't read Chinese. Uh, and the stuff that's in English, it tells you to overcharge the battery with the battery charger. You'll destroy the battery. Get a smart charger. Thirty bucks, and you'll never have to worry about your battery again. You just plug it in overnight. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's perfect. Um, I gotta think. The hop-up on it, which is right here, like I said, no problems with it. The only, the, another problem I didn't, I didn't mention is uh, it is kind of tricky to get the battery in. Now, my friend has a, the JGS system. That's a pain in the ass to get the battery in. We had to, like, totally change the wiring around on it. But this, it's, uh, it'll go in, but it's a little tricky sometimes. One thing I like, field strips really easily. Take magazine out, pin comes out, comes right off. You can access the entire... Everything access is right there. I'll show you that again right here. It's just a. Uh, you should probably be able to figure this out. I don't know if the manual should. I just kind of figured it out on my own. You know, learn learn the announce of your gun when you get them. But this right here, so the pin pops out. And this will this will just pull right off. It's just as easy to put back in. So not a problem. As for scaling, everything is totally to scale with the real G36. Um, you know, it, it's actually relatively similar weight. I know the G36 is some type of, I don't think it's full metal, I think it's a uh, rubberized plastic, like composite. Uh, this is, like I said, like ABS plastic, but uh, it's light, but it's heavy enough, you know, you feel like you're holding, so it, it doesn't feel cheap, which is good, that's what I like. Um, very balanced, though. Can't, can't compare, I mean, it's nice stock, I like it. Um, balances it out. Plus it folds in, which is nice. Um, one thing uh, happened to one of my friends that had a G36. When you fold the stock and then it clicks, don't just pull it out because uh, you can snap the little clip that holds it on. Just kind of pick it up and fold it out, and it'll just fold right out. You don't have to wiggle it back and forth. Uh, comes with 470 round magazine. Uh, personally, I hate high caps. You have to wind them, they're a pain in the ass. Uh, my advice to you, I'm actually, I'm getting mid caps soon. I have, I have three high caps though. Uh, all 470 round. One of them disappeared, it's in the house somewhere. Invest in some type of load bearing vest to carry your mags. Um, because winding, it's, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely shoot point, uh, 20, 23, maybe 25 gram BBs. But make sure that they're high polished and seamless. Because... While this is a mid-range, you know, priced gun, it still has a, a very good gearbox, and shooting the cheap, you know, Sports Authority, Dick Sporting Good BBs, uh, it'll mess it up. Uh, mess up your gearbox, you don't want, you don't want a shooting fragile BBs, it's just not good. Uh, a couple other things, you can take the rail off here, there's three screws, one of my screws came out, I, it didn't come out, I took it out and I lost it. But you can take this rail off, and actually I've seen other people get short rails, so you can just mount this and it's a little bit lower profile. Uh, and that's really about it. Like I said, uh, once again, it's a great gun. I'd recommend it to anyone. It's, uh, it's good for people that like the feel of an AK-47 and an M4 but can't quite make up their mind, because it's right about in the middle, um, which is one thing I like about it. And uh, plus, not everyone has them. You know, everyone has an M4. Not everyone has a G36. Maybe not the best gun if you're going for an American impression. I don't know if you know you get really serious with your impressions, but uh, hell, you know, I think it's fine. Uh, that's about it. Go for it. It's a good gun. Uh, I love it. I wouldn't wouldn't buy anything else instead of this. Uh, once again, I'm Matt from Apple Valley Airsoft. Thanks for watching.